Sweaty Cup. Walter here with Path the Brave. We're gonna get into some clinch work today. Clinch work, a vital part of Muay Thai. It's kind of one of the things that differentiates it from kickboxing. Okay, clinch work, they call plum. Plum means to wrestle. Basically to set up the knees. It's not wrestling. The way I like to break it down and I hope this is helpful for you too, is three clinches, three clinches. The neck, the arm and shoulder, and the hips, okay? Called the uh, ka, the lycan, arm, shoulder, and the L, the hips, okay? There is three different variations of the clinch. Well, there's a lot of different variations. There's three basic framework that it's used in. There's not one clinch, and that's it. There's not a tie clinch, and that, that's it only. There are three, but there's a lot of variations. There's a lot of different things. There's a lot of creative aspects that you can utilize in different combinations of the three in different orders, and you can basically do whatever you want or whatever you can utilize to get the, you wanna get the opponent off balance to throw your knee, okay? There's basically two different type of knees you use, a rounded knee and a straight, and a straight knee, okay? You won't use a straight knee that much in the clinch unless you're going from the neck clinch. If you go from the body clinches, you usually use a rounded knee because you're closer, okay? So to set up these things, you tend to uh, utilize an off-balancing maneuver usually a step and a turn, a push and a pull. And I'll show you that stuff as we go, okay?